All right, uh, so I wanted to do another quick video. Uh, it's kind of an update on the build, which really ain't got far at all. Uh, I got, I did get the radio in. It's a pretty cool radio. Uh, this will probably be my last radio for a while. I think this should uh, do pretty good for everything that I'm going to probably need out of a, a RC transmitter. Uh, it does not come with a lipo battery or the wall plug uh, that would plug in here to charge the lipo battery. I guess you have to buy all that separate. So I went and ordered a, uh, a lipo battery for it. Uh, and I ordered the uh, billet aluminum, the red uh, brake trigger. Uh, sometimes I have a heavy uh, trigger finger, so I just thought, it, plus, you know, for nine bucks, I thought it would look pretty cool. So, yeah, the radio came in. It's a uh, receiver. Uh, for the focus. Uh, there is another model. I this radio was like thirty dollars more. Uh, I think it just comes with a different receiver. Uh, other than that, I think it's the same. Uh, I do believe if you buy these overseas, they actually uh, are shipped with uh, two receivers. But I, I don't think I think the uh, the U.S. versions actually. I don't think you can get that over here. Over I think the only one you get is the U.S. version, which only comes with one receiver. So. Uh, but whatever, you know, you can buy them separate if you need more, so no big deal. Uh, this was a company right here. Uh, good guy. Uh, he makes the custom parts for the uh, infraction, uh, the limitless, and uh, I'm sure for a bunch of other stuff. Actually, I just noticed that it looks like the limitless right there in the card. Uh, I guess it would help to get my fingers out of the way. Yeah, right there. Uh, wheelie bar it's uh i believe it's aluminum uh, polished a little bit uh the wheel does not have a bearing and it is as you can tell uh it just rides on that bolt so i am gonna have to do something about that uh basically this is the only really good wheelie bar i've seen for this car uh what with the grps because these are a little bit lower profile this actually drags the ground so and I, and I can't have that so I either need to uh, adjust this, the droop screws a little bit in the back to compensate for that or go back to the stock tires which I don't want to do that uh, I was thinking about getting a smaller wheel maybe doing a little bit of both maybe going up a couple millimeters here because uh, it's really going to be bad once I, I I checked it without the battery you know uh, without the ESC weight, so that's going to add to it, make it worse. Uh, maybe a smaller wheel and raise the back a little bit. Uh, I would actually just like to get uh, a, a, a wheel bearing, just a wheel bearing itself, and using that as the uh, the, the wheelie bar wheel. Uh, probably just go that route. So, so that's that. Uh, it bolts on the bottom, you know, and it actually acts as like a, a, a skid plate uh, for the rear uh, diff hub hump there, you know, because uh, a lot of my cars, they have problems, they, I grind them things down, you know, so that's cool, it helps protect that a little bit, uh, other than that, that's really about it, I just, I got everything now. That I need everything uh, down to the shrink tube, man. I mean, I'm ready to rock on this thing. So I'm gonna sit down tonight and uh, do a little bit, and probably finish it tomorrow and take it out for a run. Uh, oh, I'm still waiting on my uh, for my XLX. I'm waiting on the uh, S bus link adapter so I can uh, feed the telemetry through the ESC to my radio. Uh, I got a couple of them from my uh, Spectrum radios, but uh, different equipment, different protocol, so I can't use those. So that was another 50 bucks, you know. I, I knew switching radio brands was going to be uh, a little expensive, you know, with all the receivers I got to replace. But I'll probably use a DX5 
5 Pro for uh, like my small indoor buggy, my rock crawler, uh, my monster truck. For my faster cars is probably what I'll use this guy for. So uh, other than that, that's it guys. Uh, once it's done, I'll just shoot a quick video and probably a running video when I get a GoPro. And uh, hope you guys like the car, man. You know, if you don't like it, that's cool. Comment, subscribe, share, or uh, don't even watch the video at all. I don't care. All right, guys, later, man.